Welcome to the Cloud of Things tutorial. So you would like to install a field bus? Hi, I'm Jennifer Bruninghouse and I work for the Internet of Things unit of the Deutsche Telekom. Let's get started. Field bus is a network protocol used for process steering. The protocol standard is defined within norm IEC 61158. The Cloud field bus supports process steering platforms that are essential to modern manufacturing systems. There are various Modbus devices whereby their configuration differs. Today, we will be configuring a TCP Modbus device. First, we will start by using the Device Management app. Please click on the orange tile or use the app switcher in the corner of your screen. Click on Device Type and further to Device Database. Click on New in the upper right navigation bar and choose Modbus from the list and assign this device a unique name, like Heating Control System. Now you can start to define your field bus using the exact supplier description for your device. For demonstration purposes, I'll use a simple heating control system. We will define the shown mappings registers, and functions. First, we define a discrete input register showing the status of the burner. Click on Add. Near discrete inputs, assign a unique name to the new register like status of burner. Now choose the register number according to the register mapping of your device as described above, 1. In the section Functionalities, you choose Show Status because we want to show the status of the burner by using the transferred Modbus data. You can now choose a substitution text for Status 0 and Status 1. Put in Off for 0 and On for 1. Click OK and the definition of the discrete input register will be saved. Click on Add, near Holdings Register. Assign a unique name to the new register like Minimum Temperature. You can also group your holding registers by assigning them a unique name. Click on Display Category and insert a name. Now choose the register number according to the register mapping of your device as described above. 1. You define the start bit and the register width according to the device description. Use start bit 0 and number of bits 16. By usage of the field multiplier, divisor, or decimal places, you can format the raw data from the Modbus for your intended usage. In this example case, we use the given defaults. Assign the measuring unit to the data values in unit Use degrees Celsius for the rendering of values in the cloud of things. Because the minimum temperature is a changeable value, you choose Show Status and Update Status in the section Functionalities. By choosing Update Status, the fields Minimum and Maximum appear above in the mask. You can limit the values a user is able to input for minimum temperature by assigning the limit values to these fields. Put in 0 for minimum and 30 for maximum. Click the button OK and the register definition will be saved. Create the register for maximum temperature the same way. Create the registers outdoor temperature and room temperature analog to the steps above as input registers. Input registers can be defined only with show status because they aren't editable by the user. Because we want to show the room temperature by measurement values inside the cloud of things, you have to choose send measurement in the section functionalities. This enables the fields measurement type and measurement series inside the mask. You label the scale names and data row names of the measurement graph by assigning temperatures to measurement type, 
and living room to measurement series. After this, click OK. After that, the definition of our field bus device is completed. You should choose the option Use Server Time in the lower part of the mask to enable a timestamp synchronization of all data records delivered by the Modbus Gateway to the Cloud of Things. By clicking Save, the field bus device definition is stored to the device database. The last step is creating a Modbus device as a child to our gateway. In Device Management, click on Devices and All Devices and select your NTC 6200 gateway by clicking the name. On the left side of the mask, you click Modbus and the Modbus definition mask will be shown. Click Add TCP Device because we want to establish this device as a child. Assign a unique name to the new device, like Heating Living Room. Choose your defined Modbus device type, Heating Control System, in the drop-down list of the next field. The next field assigns the Modbus address to your new device. Ask your Modbus administrator for this. We use one in this example. Now we have to input the IP address of the physical Modbus device in Modbus TCP. For this, you also need to ask your administrator. For this example, we will use 192.168.1.199. Click on the Add button, and the new Modbus device is created at the NTC Gateway. Click Info on the left side of the mask, and the Info mask of the NTC 6200 is shown. Under Info, you'll see Child Devices. Click this. You now see a list of configured Modbus devices for this NTC Gateway. Our device appears with the name Heating Living Room. After clicking this name, you see the info mask of the child device. On the left side, you click measurements and the graph of the room temperatures sent by the Modbus device are shown. Your new Modbus device is now complete, configured, and functional. The last step is creating a graphical representation of the Modbus device by using a widget in the cockpit. Switch back to the cockpit by using the App Switcher. Find and select your NTC gateway using the configured groups of your tenant. Click the cogwheel icon on the upper side of the mask and click Add Dashboard. Assign a unique name to your new dashboard and click Save to use all default values. Click the button Add Widget and choose the Field Bus Device widget from the drop down list in the next mask. You can assign a title to the widget. The usable child devices of your gateway are shown in the section Target Assets or Devices. Choose Heating Living Room. In Uncategorized, click on the arrow. Here you see all configured registers of your Mobus device. Use the checkboxes and select them all. Click Save and the widget will be saved and shown on your screen. You may want to change the size of the widget by using the double arrow in the lower right hand side of the widget mask. In the upper part of the widget, you see a control button. This controller shows the actual status of the burner, on or off. It slides automatically if the Modbus device has received a new status from the burner. Below the controller, you see the two fields, minimum and maximum temperature. Both are changeable by choosing a new value and clicking on the set button. Below these two fields, you see outdoor temperature and room temperature. The value displayed in room temperature changes after a new value has been sent by the Modbus device. 
We have now seen an example of how to attach a Modbus device to the Cloud of Things. For further information about the Cloud of Things, we invite you to take a look at our other tutorials. And when you found this tutorial helpful, please let us know by clicking on the like button or forwarding it to your colleagues. Thank you.